welcome to Abundant Gains. If you are new to my channel, my name is Laura and I am a 23 year old zero based budgeter. If you enjoy watching cash stuffing, sinking fund updates and more, then please do consider subscribing and join my abundant family. And before we begin, I just want to say thank you for clicking on today's video. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. So if you are going to stick it out with me till the end, I hope you enjoy and let me know your thoughts below in the comments. And if you didn't get a chance to watch my budgie with me for this cash stuffing, it will be linked in the description box for you to watch if you'd like to know how I came to creating this budget from this paycheck. <laughs> and also, it is finally October, my most favorite time of the year. So happy spooky month. And please share with me if you also really love October. There's lots to celebrate. For me, it's Halloween, it's Day of the Dead. With that being said, let's grab this money and see how much we are cash stuffing. Let's start with the big denominations. I have 51, 50, 200. So all of this is correct. I have four fifties, six twenties, eight tens, 12 fives, and 14 ones. And if you're ever curious to know where I got any of the items that I use in my video, they will be linked in my description box below. So definitely check that out if you are interested. And let's just briefly recap through the budget itself so that we have a clear understanding of what is going on today. So 474 is the total that is being cash stuffed. I was paid 1025. 551 went towards bills for the first two weeks of October, which left me with the 474. So my mini envelopes are getting 194. My first variable expense binder is getting 65, the second 73 my high priority binder is getting 52 for my sinking funds and then my low priority sinking funds is getting 15 dollars and so the breakdown is right over here as well so i'm going to prop this up somewhere i may have different binders and envelopes but we are still going to start the same as always which is starting with my mini envelopes and blessings is going to get five dollars which is going to be all in ones one two three four five Eating out is going to get 30. So that's just going to be a 20 and a 10. Me and my partner do cook at home, so eating out is mainly just for when I need snacks while I'm at work since I'm out driving all day long. That was already open so groceries is going to get 120 so it's just going to get 250s and a 20 so 120 dollars and we do split our groceries typically we spend about 60 to 70 dollars a week depending on how much we need so I'll spend 60 to 70 and she'll spend about the same amount. So for me, double that, that is 120 for the next two weeks. Spending is only going to get 10. I don't know how 
how or why some of these are open and some of these are closed. I don't know. And then toiletries is going to get 20. I just bought some toiletry items. I needed some toothpaste and some other things. So we should be good with this for the next two weeks. For me, she's also cash stuffing. Today is actually her first time cash stuffing from her paycheck. So she's going to be doing that, but she won't be filming or anything. So although this may seem like a little bit, since we are in a shared space and we live together, we both pretty much split up the things that we need or I just buy the things I need and you know we work with it however is best in that moment and then extra is going to get nine dollars so five six seven eight and nine All right, and that is all for my mini envelopes. I did go ahead and take out my cards and ID and all from here so that I wouldn't have to worry about it on camera. And I also already took out the coins, which is these coins here that were in this slot there. And let's move on to my variable expense binder to the first one, which is my needs. So car maintenance is going to be getting $50 and I already have a bit in there. I need to take out some to go towards my credit card. So I'm actually not even going to put that in there. Let's count and see what I have in car maintenance. So car maintenance, I have 50, 1, 50, 2, 250, 270, 280, and 285. invest won't be getting anything i'm gonna wait until i have some leftover money from my mini envelopes and then shop small biz which is a shop small business envelope is going to get ten dollars so now it has 10 11 12 13 14 15. i don't plan on doing any shopping especially like etsy and um from other creators that i know anytime soon so this is going to just slowly build up over time until I need it, but right now I do not. I just spent a whole lot from my savings to purchase my entire new setup, and so I won't be doing that for a while. Wellness things is going to get five, and I believe I just have a 10 in here, so that'll be 15 total. And then extra car payment won't be getting anything today. And that is all for this binder. Now let's move on to my wants or my secondary variable expense binder. And we are starting with beauty. Beauty is going to get $5. So I now have seven. That was doing a lot of movement so i needed to go and put a crystal here <laughs> to keep it from moving around so much all right so for date night i'm going to put in five dollars as well so now i have six fun is getting five as well so five six seven and eight dollars and for this binder here i do use my credit card so if i ever need to purchase anything um, related to fun my partner date night family time anything of that sort it is all going to be purchased with my credit card and then i pay that back as soon as possible with the money that is in my envelopes here I'm not full on cash like I used to be ever since I got my credit card a few months back. So, mi amor, she is going to be getting $10, so now she's got 15 
which is my love if you do not know some of the basics of Spanish. <laughs> I'm not trying to comfort you, I promise. All right. And then mi familia, which is my family or family time, however you want to reference it. It's also going to be getting $10. So 10, 15, 6, 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And then regalos, which is gifts, is going to be getting a five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The besties, which is my friends, they are going to be getting 20. So that's 30 and that is because I have a savings challenge that is called girls night out and I've been scratching from that savings challenge which is in my savings challenge binder and so I scratched off 20 for girls night out which that money is going to go right in here uh oh Self-care is going to get five, and I have a five in there now, so it's going to be $10 total. Shop Till You Drop is going to be getting five as well, and I have a 20 in there, so now I have 25 total. This is very very annoying and then spiritual things i'm only going to put in three dollars i don't need to do a whole lot of um shopping for any metaphysical things thankfully so i have a lot of things that i need already so it's just going to get three and so that is now one two three four five six seven and eight So that is all for this variable expense binder. And let's move on to my high priority sinking funds binder. So some of the envelopes for my sinking funds will not be getting cashed up today. So emergency is one of those. Healthcare won't be getting cashed up either. Savings is and taxes is. So savings is going to be getting donate that. I've already also pre-filled out my my trackers in my budget with me video. So we won't need to look at that for right now. And savings is getting 36. So 20, 30, 35, and 36 so I have 2120 30 35 36 so 2136 in here taxes is getting sixteen so ten fifteen and sixteen so taxes, I have 200, 250, 270, 280, 85, 90, 95, 3, 5, 10, 15, and 16. So 316. And this is to pay off my car taxes that will be due in December. All right, that is all for this. And now for my low priority sinking funds, we are going to skip over birthday, future home, and dive into Halloween. And in this savings challenge, I did color in the second row because I wanted to initially 
cash the 45 i thought that this check would be bigger but it didn't turn out to be bigger than what it was so instead i'm just going to complete the first row i already did 10 and 20 so 5 and 10 well 5 and 5 which equals 10 and i have to go back and erase that but now we know it's just ten dollars going into halloween i have 20 30 and 40. Let's skip over mystery and tattoos and head on over to vacation. Vacation is getting five, so vacation I have one, two, three thousand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, eight, five. So I have three thousand eight hundred and five. And that is all for my low priority and now I have to do the last which is my four thousand dollars savings challenge and that is getting 75 now I did take out a big chunk out of this savings challenge I had about two thousand um, a little over two thousand dollars saved in here but I had to take out over a thousand and more because I had to pay off a debt that came out of nowhere and so I paid that off and that was six hundred and six hundred something dollars and then I also had to pay off some other debt so all of that together pretty much took up more than half of what I had already saved in here so because this is a four thousand dollar savings challenge and I think I only have like 400 left 40 60 84 yeah I have 400 dollars so whatever I end up just completing with what's left is what's going to be distributed into other envelopes and stuff that I decide to put in so just a disclaimer that is why I no longer have the big amount that I had in here it's only 400 so we're going to add 75 so 50 70 and 5 so now I have 475 in my savings challenge I'm not sure if I'm going to scratch off another one honestly I don't really feel like I should so maybe in my um, maybe in my savings challenge cash stuffing then I'll, I'll go ahead and scratch off another but right now with my checks still being pretty new for my new job and I ha I've had to miss a few days and I'm going to miss a few days in this upcoming one and this upcoming paycheck I don't want to stretch myself thin again so that's going to be that until possibly a few more weeks so let's see what's going on with my coins i have 112 and 75 cents so far i have these coins here and i also have this big old little like i don't know wallet thing that my partner found in the car i, I don't know <laughs> i don't know where this came from but she decided to start putting a bunch of coins in here over the last few weeks and as you can see it is quite full and she wanted me to start only doing this once a month because she wants to have the satisfaction of getting this as full as she can for like three four weeks and then I like put them in here she also said that by doing it that way it will be more satisfying seeing the numbers jump more I don't know I'll go ahead and give it to her so that's what I'm gonna do I'm only going to cash stuff my coins once a month so since today is the beginning of October I guess I'll probably be doing it every beginning of the new month so let's start with these coins here on my hand
All right, I am back after all of that. I have, so I have $125.84 in my coin jar. If you can look at it, it's practically all the way up to the top now. So I think about a month more. So next month after I fill it up, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And that'll be my very first time that I exchange my coins for dollars because this is this is still somewhat new. I got this coin jar maybe about a year ago ish, if not if that. <laughs> so that is insane. And as you can see, I needed the help from my girlfriend because that those coins were like killing my finger and like she saved that up she should have been the one to put all that stuff in there not me you know that was a lot of work so i went ahead and helped her out but i had her doing some by herself because <laughs> i told her never fill up that little wallet all the way up like that because i'm not going to do that i'm not that it starts to irritate my finger after a while and I can't stand it. That is the end to this cash stuffing. If you guys enjoyed watching, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you'd like to see more of my videos and my content, you can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram to connect with me daily. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time.